The first machine I learned the hard way. Crashed it, crashed it, crashed it. <laughs> When you got into CNC and you started buying machines, it just bought, started with some used stuff, or did you buy new, or how did you get into the world? So I was just looking for the deals, the older machines, because it's you know, expensive. Little by little buying bigger machines, but old. We, we, we were downtime, man. It was, oh, it's down. My biggest fear was it not turning on in the morning. How did you make the decision to go with DN? You had a DNM and you were running a Core 5 with the aluminum, and I was running the aluminum. And I did the same thing on my Mori. That Mori's no longer there. So I, I had to get one. I had to get a DN, the Cat 40 Big Plus, and I was hogging aluminum all day long. And I was running, 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 switching out part. When you go to your facility, like I've been there, and you go and then there's just all this material, you know, and it's like big chunks of 17.4. And all you think about is like material removal. How do we get this material gone as quick as possible and stuff? You were like big cuts, oh, let's yeah. just get after it. Same as I've always done, not really looking for something better because this is what's been going on for years and it works and you guys are making money and then you have a young gun over here where he's coming in and he's watching videos and watching titans of cnc on youtube and he's like look at these cutters and look at what they're doing and look at that mrr and like can we just go and do the same speeds and feeds? And I love how you said, we actually put the tools in and it worked. And then all of a sudden, MRR was like through the rope and you're starting to make money. And then all of a sudden your uncle's like, wait, okay, we'll buy this tool. If, if, if that's what it's gonna happen and we're actually doing the parts faster and now making more money, then it makes sense. A standard vertical in an eight hour shift, standard three axis vertical is up 28% of the time in a normal job shop. 28%, that is low, but that is because of breaks, setups, changeovers. So when you're going through that and you can you can reduce the amount of time you're spending in setup, now maybe now, now instead of 28% spindle time throughout an eight hour shift, you're at 50%. Then you add some automation, you put a robot in front of that thing, you go home at night and that thing's still running. Now you're at 80%, 90%. Those are the things, spindle utilization is key. I always saw a machine as a tool to make money. It's not something that I'm trying to make it last 20 years. I'm trying to I'm trying to make money and solve problems and take care of my customers. And the amount of money that I'm gonna make from the customers is gonna overshadow any payment that I'm gonna actually be making on a machine. So you take care of your customers or somebody else will. And everybody that gets in like a complacency with their customers and they're getting the work and they're making the jobs and and delivering parts and it's like we're good but there's always somebody better there's always somebody knocking on that buyer's door and a lot of owners they they, they live with that stress that they they gotta keep knocking and giving gifts and and keep on that buyer's mind you know keep their their actually business on that mind you know so that they're always thinking like oh I yeah I'm not gonna leave this person you know what I mean and they work so hard at it but a simple thing that you can do is actually just have good communication with your buyer, with your customer, and say, hey, check this out. We actually started with this new tool. We actually increased productivity by 20%. So we're actually gonna pass like savings on. So each one of these parts for a thousand pieces was 395. We're gonna give it to you for like 365. And you didn't ask for that. That's something we're gonna give you and we're gonna keep working to actually keep dropping the prices and stuff through advanced technologies and, and different tool paths and different things because we want this to be a long-term relationship. And when your customer understands that you're working consistently to help them out, even when they don't ask it, they never leave. And you, you create the narrative, you create the story, and then you go after the customers and say, hey, you know, nobody else is paying attention. We are paying attention to this and we're dropping our our prices by buying the best technology and doing these different things. When I got my first four machines, I didn't wait. I came over and I said, I'm quoting, I'm quoting these machines. And then I created a, a story around how I was gonna take care of the customers. And then I went and sold them on it and it happened. Technically, we are a machine distributor also, and that's how we're gonna fund free education for everyone. Yeah, so just another level to the game that we're doing here at Titans of CNC. Yeah, Hence, absolutely. Keith Grano, wow. one of the best sales guys I've ever seen, coming over here and uh, heading up distribution for us. And then these two guys over here are, are 
first sale we have made with uh, Boom. with the distribution yeah. side. Yeah, super neat. good, man. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys. Oh, oh yeah, the first Thank sale. You. We're excited. We don't want to go down the path of, of selling a machine. And you know, I sold machines for 30 years. Part of that support is taking care of the customer. And when you do something like what we're trying to entertain here with a almost like a full turnkey project, but you know, as part of the sale, because we've got the bandwidth here, we've got Donnie, we've got machines on our floor. It makes sense, you know, guys that are new to Swiss, and it's a little bit of a different animal. You got to get used to it, but we've got the guys to support you. And we say to anyone we're talking to, and I've quoted a number of machines already out of the gate is, hey, show us the parts you want to do and we'll set those up for you. You know, pay for the tooling side of it. We'll we'll do the entire programming side of it. Yeah, it is a win-win all the way around. Heck yeah. So just remember MSM in Houston, Texas has oh. Swiss capabilities. Oh man. Call Raul and Enrique and get some get some numbers down to them. <laughs>